So I really missed our coffee chat, so I wanted to jump in and add one in today. Um, it is actually turning out to be a nice day. I wanted to ask, is anybody else obsessed with blankets? I have just blankets everywhere. I love being covered in blankets, whether or not it's hot outside or cold. I am a blanket person, so let me know if you are the same way. But I figured I would grab my coffee and just talk to you about what today's video will be covering. So I get a lot of messages on Instagram, just people like really sweet girls. I'm sure some of you have messaged me and asked like my opinion on bags or if I had to pick one, which one would I start my collection with? And I think by now you can kind of tell like my style. So if if you are kind of in line with what I like, I think this video might be fun for you to watch, but I'm just gonna touch on my top three favorite bags right now. And it's really funny because while I was thinking about those answers to those questions on Instagram, I realized that all of my favorite bags right now have something in common. So stay tuned for the video if, if you think that'll be interesting. But other than that, thanks for having coffee with me this morning, guys. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay tuned for the video. Okay. So our first bag is probably no surprise to anybody, but my top, one of my top three bags, this is not really in order. I think it's mostly in order of like use maybe, um, is the adorable, beautiful, stunning, uh, Palm Springs Mini by Louis Vuitton. So this bag, I love, okay. I not only had lusted over it over the last few years, over Instagram, seeing it in pictures, but it was a whole process getting this exact one because I had the old one. So if you saw my video on my bag collection, you'll know this is the third Palm Springs Mini that I've had because of the zipper issue. So this is the new zipper model and the best part about this bag are the straps. So the straps can be interchanged with other straps. They can also be removed really easily and be converted, this bag can be converted into a crossbody. Um, and I just like adore this bag. So one of the main features that most people ask me about is what fits in it. So I can definitely do another video on like what fits specifically into this bag. Um, this bag fits so much. So it's sometimes it's a struggle. Like I forget things are in here, but it is always my like easy grab and go bag because not only is it convenient to wear as backpack, but it also is the monogram canvas with the black leather accents, which means that it can get wet and I don't have to worry about staining or, you know, I can wear any color clothing and not have to worry about it getting um, stained or discolored or any sort of color transfer. So for those reasons, it's my little love and I know that people are saying back, like backpacks themselves might be trendy, but like the Monster Reese that is back in trend again. And I feel like if you love something, it doesn't it shouldn't matter if it's trendy or not. So I just adore this bag. It's just so cute. Um, and that is my first bag in my top three list. Okay, so next up is my next favorite bag right now. Guys, it is she, the Kusan PM in the cream color. Guys. What a journey we've been on. Okay, so not only have I been like absolutely terrified of wearing this bag, but we have bitten the bullet and we've taken some turns. So love the bag, love the chain. And actually guys, I've been loving the strap. So I went to the mall this past weekend and I grabbed this bag 
and I was like, you know what? I'm a little sunburnt. I don't know if I want like a heavy chain pulling on my shoulder. Let me grab the, the, the back strap that it comes with. So I put this on and let me tell you, it was like I was wearing a different bag. It was so comfortable to wear. It was easy to like put it on crossbody if I needed to, but oh my gosh, this bag, it is unreal. It holds the perfect amount. It's so comfy to wear. And right now I'm not super worried about color transfer because I've been wearing pretty light colors. Like on the weekends, I'm usually wearing like cream, taupe, nude, beige, like such boring colors, I guess. But it helps me not have to worry about whether or not I'm going to get any color transfer onto the bag. So I also sprayed it with Apple Guard um, last week and I have not noticed any difference in the leather whatsoever. And still, I probably should look before I tell you guys, like no color transfer. So she is still pristine, pristine. And I just love this bag. It is so fun to carry. You can actually carry it under your shoulder. You can fill it with a decent amount. And the middle pocket I thought was gonna be kind of like no use for me, but I can put like my sunglasses in here or like mirrors or anything like that I don't really grab too often in and out of my bag, like wallet and your keys and your phone, like you're always constantly like pulling in and out. But it's been such a nice bag to carry and wear and you know, it's summertime, so let's get the use out of a white bag. So this is number two and I've just been loving her, so. Join your friends right here. Okay, so actually the third bag is actually not a bag, but before you guys get mad at me for including something that's not a bag, um, let me talk through it a little bit. So the third top three bag that I'm loving right now is my Toiletry 26 from Louis Vuitton, and I will tell you guys why. So I've started going back to the office a little bit more, and this was always, I actually didn't really intend it to be, but this was always something that I was putting into my, um, I was putting like my computer stuff, my pens, chargers, AirPods, everything in here just to have like a catch-all for work. It actually fits like my Kindle, it fits so much in here. But ever since quarantine started and I haven't been going to the office, I was like, okay, this bag's just sitting there. I'm probably not traveling and needing to put toiletries in here. So what can I do with this bag? Obviously, we all know the Samorga bag insert is here and we've been using it like crazy. So this is the Samorga bag insert. It fits really snug in here. This is the color espresso. I'll link it down below for you guys. Um, and it has these attach, these rings that we can attach straps to, if you can see. That's the best way to see it. Um, here. So I've been wearing this as a bag, adding a chain. Um, I bring it everywhere. Like I'm literally like just tossing things in, putting it in the car, grabbing it to the mall. I've been loving it but I've also been just grabbing it as a clutch because it's easy to grab and hold and I don't I feel like it's pretty worry free it only has this like one part that's Vachetta but this bag and this bag are pretty similar in size so I found that like this size is kind of like the sweet spot for a daily bag for me so that is my third favorite bag so I know it's not really a bag but I've been wearing it as one so it kind of like is one to me um but i figured you guys would be mad that i included this as a bag so we have another we have a runner-up so you guys heard me talk about going back to the office and all of that and so surprisingly my other top bag is actually the on the go gm size and I'll tell you why. So I wasn't grabbing this bag for a while during, you know, when we were just kind of working from home remotely 
and I wasn't traveling or doing anything really, you know, that required a larger bag. So this bag kind of sat on the shelf and looked pretty. Thank God I have an organizer in here and that I was able to keep its shape really well. But I started carrying this bag like on weekends when I'm going out to someone's house and I wanted to bring a bunch of stuff. Like let's say I'm going to my in-laws pool and I wanna bring like extra clothes in here, throw it right in here, bring it with me. So convenient, so easy to use. And it's honestly, when you're not wearing, when you're not putting a bunch of stuff in here like books or computers or planners, it is much lighter to carry and easy to like bring around like daily. So this has definitely been one that I didn't think was gonna make it into my top three, but it really has. And I'm just loving it. So now that you've seen my top bag, so it's the on the go, the toiletry 26, the Kusan PM, and the Palm Springs Mini. What do they all have in common that I've recently noticed is like important to me? And I'm gonna talk to you about it. So if you guess that they are all Louis Vuitton, yes, I think that's pretty obvious. Um, I have been gravitating towards Louis Vuitton more. Um, and a lot of people ask me if I'm gonna add more Chanel to my collection. I would love to, but we don't have a Chanel store here in Nashville. We only have a Nordstrom boutique that doesn't get a lot of inventory. So for me, it's hard to fall in love with bags that I never get to see in person, like touch or try on. So for me, I haven't been gravitating towards Chanel. So yes, Louis Vuitton, I'm definitely more drawn to right now. And I've just been loving their quality, their new like lines that have been coming out. And I'm excited to see what else they put out. But the other main thing these all have in common that is huge for me that I just came to a realization is that they all either have zippers and can be reached or accessed through the top. This means there's no flap on them. So for example, open up, put your hand in, grab whatever you need, zip it back up. Same thing with Palm Springs Mini, open, hand in, out, in and out, easy access, it's hanging by your side. And then the on the go, easy access from the top. There's no flap here to impede me. And same thing with the Toiletry 26, which is top zipper, in and out, in and out. So I'm like realizing that maybe my like sweet spot with bags are top zipper bags. So as an unpopular opinion, I feel like even though I want one, I feel like a classic flap from Chanel or the Chanel 19 are not for me. I like to look at them, but I realize that most of my bags that have flaps, like I don't really reach for too often. So that is something that I realized recently, like actually when I was putting this list together, I was like, all my bags kind of have a similar function. And I actually think about it when I'm going out or running around, what bag will be the easiest to get in and out of? Now, if you're going to a, like a special event or you're going somewhere where you don't really think you're gonna be accessing your bag, then it doesn't really matter. Um, you can kind of just like wear whatever, but for me, it's kind of important to have the function of being able to get in and out. So that was a huge realization for me. So I don't know if any of you are kind of similar, realized that recently. Take a look at your most used bags and let me know if there's a trend between any of them because that was, kind of big for me to realize and I'm gonna start thinking about that including that in my thought process when I'm looking at adding a new bag to my collection. I'm happy that I've figured that out but it's probably gonna hurt my pockets now that I know that like if it has a zipper on it like I need it. So thank you guys for joining me for today's video and having coffee with me and talking about bags which is literally my favorite thing to talk about. So as always, definitely leave any comments or questions that you guys have for me. And I'm very, very active on Instagram, at Decor and Designer. Definitely shoot me a message there. I do my best to respond to you guys as quickly as possible. So please, please, please let me know what you thought and if these bags were 
were at all like what you were thinking I was going to say. And if I surprised you, please let me know as well. But thanks for hanging out and I will see you guys next time.